two of my building the Black Pearl All Scenario version. And I'll give it a quick flyover of what I have accomplished. And I'll make a few comments along the way. There you can see some of the prisoners that are, apparently have not survived very well. Cargo, and it's not fully in place. This is just a, a uh, preliminary view of how I want it. I'll mention that the fruit was too bold in color. So I took just black spray paint from very far away and misted it and toned it down just a little bit. So I'm considering it on the yellow and the orange pumpkins or whatever, squash, whatever that might be. But you can see I've made good progress. Have the lower floor framing in place. I've got a lot more to do with supplies and different ideas that I have for this lower deck before I can start on the, the middle deck. So there's a view of the wine cellar that is towards the front of the ship. You can see the broken bottles on the ground, a few bottles still in the cabinet. You can tell it's got a pretty good start and you do have to put all these things in place and I'm going to have to do the electrical work also. You can see, if you look closely, center screen, I do have one of the lanterns in place. My next video will feature how to make those and which wire to uh, hook to your power sources as far as the, the positive and the negative leads. Stay tuned and I'll go into a little more detail on how I got to this point. In the process of starting to work in an area using parts from placard D. David, I discovered something subtle and I'll try and explain it. When you get to part three, which is this one right here, I've taken it out and put it back in, you're really using this outside piece. I think the triangles will be used to hold cannon balls later. But the twin to it is on the opposite side. It's over here. This one's not marked. Four is marked. See the two pieces though, just one marking. I've run into my first major obstacle and I'm about to start building these prisoner quarters and you can see there are cell doors all through here and the instructions give you the options of spray painting them black or using acrylic paint to make them black. They're made out of brass. I just cannot do it. I cannot <laughs> paint these brass doors. So I had two options. I've got this Novacan black patina which will darken these and age them and I could darken them all the way to black using that. In additional preparation to do the lower deck and uh, the supporting timbers and the prisoner cells I uh, have pre-stained these supports and they're all marked individually like this one's 15C but a lot of the parts especially the ones on placard C, and there are two separate placard C uh, parts, they are not individually marked. So what I've done on this butcher block table, I just number and it starts at C1 and goes down to C11. Now I can stain those parts and have them ready to go. I've also gone and on these timbers, I have put the hooks for the lanterns. That way I could pre-drill it on my drill press. I don't have to mess with trying to reach in and do that. And so you may notice on a few of them, they have the little hooks to hang the lanterns on. Before I install all of these jail cell walls, I want to point out that there is a front and a back. So let me put this back on here. If you notice this, the hinges right here on the back are just flat because they don't show. On the front, there's a little indentation. So I'm talking where the door hinges, recesses back just a little bit. Also, this little handle I put on, that is a piece of copper wire. I looped around a little ring uh, that I purchased at Hobby Lobby in their jewelry department. Not expensive, and I just thought that was a nice added touch. When it comes to putting together all the prisoner cells and the framing for this, it's a little bit of a jigsaw puzzle. 
I'm trying to start from the front of the ship and get these pieces. You can see right there where I'm pointing where it says Y2. That's the inside uh, jail bars or cage, the metal units. Then you have to find what this piece number is. And you just have to keep searching around until you find the matching uh, piece. And you have to be careful because they keep reversing the ship. They reverse the front of the ship direction sometimes. For example, this is the front of the ship facing this way, and up here it's facing that way. So, back to my story. So here is the Y2, and then I found the matching code in this light blue, and I know it's probably hard to see, but it is part D1 is the frame for it. So I'm just saying you need to take your time and look at multiple pictures to get all these pieces in place. As you're installing the prisoner cells, make sure you get everything in the correct order. You can, hopefully you can see, this has a slant inward and this has a slant inward. That's because the upper decks have a little bit of a bow towards the center. So just keep an eye on that, make sure that you get each piece in the proper place. Here's an example how you need to be cautious so you don't get confused on where parts go. This is D placard, part six and seven, and each one of these has two pieces. It's going to form this area here, which is towards the rear of the ship. So here's where you identify those parts and where they go. Notice the front of the ship is here. But when you go to find where you find the cage unit, the instructions have reversed the direction the ship is facing. So here's the two parts that go with D6, and it's Y1 and Y4. I hope I made that clear. I'll put them together and show you what it looks like. Here's D6 put in place. The cage will go on top of it, and then D7 goes behind. And then obviously the same setup on the other side of the ship. When you finish the framing brace work that goes across, you should not have any frames left marked A. The ones that you have left should be B or higher in the alphabet. Pretty good start. So far, no major problems. I've almost finished painting all the extras. You can see the the bone work that I did. The bottles to the right I have not done yet. And then this is the food section and um, not, well some crates and then some baskets. This is the picture of the part and its number. And here it is painted. And I'm pretty proud of myself. I don't have any official art background, but it does run in my family. My mother painted some. My sister owned a gift shop and a florist and does artwork. And I made a couple paintings years ago, back in the 80s. Here's some of the barrels, crates. Pretty happy with that. And I'm thinking about taking one of my photographs, shrinking it very, very small, frame it, and put it in the captain's quarters. And then do the same thing with a replica of the Mona Lisa, but put it on the lowest deck with some of the barrels and, and crates, just kind of a junk pile. Just something a little bit humorous in my opinion. So that's the update on the uh, supplies that will go in the, the lowest level of the ship. I have these barrels and I've uh, had them for a while and I use them from time to time. But on this project, I, I recently watched one of the Pirates of the Caribbean movies just to see some of the barrels that were there. And they were a lot older and really bad looking, and especially in the lowest part of the ship. So here is my attempt to match those bad looking barrels. What I did is I took and literally burned them. I'm outdoors in my driveway. I'm going to show you how I burnish or actually burn these barrels. 
So I take a paper towel and a spray bottle and get it saturated with water. I take a second set of paper towels and also saturate it in water. And that's just in case something goes wrong. So I have a wet towel to put over something. And here's my uh, propane torch. I'll take the barrel and I'll hold it between these pliers and torch it. Extinguish the fire. You can also mist it. And you can see how I have some actual cracked barrels, misshaped barrels, and I'm real happy with the result. Now I did take, you can see there's a little brown in there. I just dusted lightly with a, 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 a pretty soft brush that was pretty thick and just dusted some nutmeg brown to bring back some of the color. I didn't want them solid black. So well, that's my take on taking regular barrels and making them look very, very old. What I've done is I've cut out of paper the same floor plan that the middle deck will have. The reason I did that, I want to be able to look down and see when I position a lot of my extras and barrels and things like that, prisoners in these cells, which ones can be seen and which ones cannot. Then on the two ends where the planking will actually be, I've used painter's tape on both ends. And I've also put painter's tape on the opposite side that will remain closed the entire time. So my hopes is that from the top I can look down and then I can also look deep inside the ship and what I'll be able to see by looking down here and I can easily remove the paper so that I can drill and hang ropes and put in barrels and uh, supplies but I'll put things pretty far back because I want to give it depth. That'll be it for segment two Try and give you a view down low here. There's my main captive prisoner. And see how you can see through. And yet that uh, tape in the background makes it so I know a little bit how it's going to look when it gets done. A lot more supplies to load. A lot more decisions to make that way. And, of course, that electrical work that I talked about will have to be done. But the white paper on top, that did help for me to be able to see approximately what I'll be able to, to look at when the ship is complete. So I'm pretty happy with that choice. And this is Boiler Dan 1, and as always, thanks for watching.